Now this was a bittersweet victory for the FBI today. We're having DC's biggest winter ever. The Senate is laying the cards on your table. Police are ramping up efforts to catch sex offenders. A fare increase would really affect Metro riders. But instead of running for the door, you might want to run to the coffee machine. Beach erosion is both episodic and sporadic. They're marching from Philadelphia to DC. Keeping up on shoveling in storms like this is crucial. It would give dogs like this stray another chance. After the historic vote on health care Sunday, President Obama signs the bill into law. I can see the, the bay. I mean, when I was younger, you, could, you couldn't even see the bay. I don't think it's going to be that many more years before it's all going to be gone. The people of Smith Island see their shoreline getting closer and closer every day. But it's not just erosion that threatens their way of life. We're just about down to one industry now, and that's crabs. We're getting to the point where there's only one or two children being born a year, if that. For parents, it's difficult seeing their children leave the island for the education and jobs the mainland provides. I have a daughter. Um, I'd love for her to stay here. But, but I'd love for her to be successful. Uh, I'd love for her to take Smith Island with her wherever she goes. And there are nature's threats as well, like Hurricane Isabel in 2003, which took an enormous toll on the island. A lot of people will say if, if all it's going to take is one big hurricane that causes them a lot of damage and they're gone. Some may question, why spend the money on saving Smith Island? Why not just let nature run its course? The natural beauty of the place is amazing. If you're looking for a place where people are friendly and supportive and will be there when you need them, there's no other place in the world like it. I think for the bay to survive, they need this area. They even have some ideas. Well, all them studies could have been converted into stone and this place would have all been diked in. But even if the land can be saved, the people may not be around much longer. The native Smith Islanders, are not going to be around much longer because it's an older po aging population and it's not any young. Like right now, we've got 12 students, 12 kids. That's it. So the 210 residents of Smith Island wait, their loyalty to the island unwavering. I don't think a lot of people see what I, what I see when I look around here. They just can't because they don't, they can't have that feeling in their heart the way I have it if they can just walk away. It's a crime that shocked many. The murder of a teacher at Cheltenham Youth Facility in Prince George's County. And lawmakers in Annapolis called for a hearing. To have a public discussion and answer some troubling, troubling questions. Of but the hearing was not to be. The lawmakers who called for it were left standing in an empty hearing room in Annapolis. There was a coordinated effort that we've become aware of behind the scenes to shut that down. O'Donnell points a finger at legislative leaders. A statement from the Department of Juvenile Services says the Secretary of Juvenile Services was advised by Senate President Mike Miller and Speaker of the House Mike Bush that this hearing was not called by a legislative body and should not appear. But there are differing opinions. This hearing was shut down. It was shut down hard. And people were doing it to protect political careers. Just want to have some answers, just a few answers, not just about Shelton Ham. I think that it was a conflict of messages. So they plan to reschedule and hope the secretary is able to attend this time around to provide the answers they're looking for. I had um, open heart surgery. I had uh, total knee replacement. At a medical fitness facility, you hear stories like this all the time. Most people recovering from surgery are prescribed exercise. Part of the recovery from that is a step down to cardiovascular fitness. And medical staff are on hand to provide a specialized plan. They sit down and talk with the 
the individual as far as what their possible past medical history is, orthopedic conditions. Facilities like this one provide dietary support as well, and it's the full package that draws people in. For the person who's been fearful of exercise, has been nervous about exercise, we really provide an environment that combines the best of the medical world with more progressive uh, fitness and wellness opportunities for them. Medical fitness is the newest trend in health and it keeps people coming back. The structure and the people who are working with me here add a new dimension to it. In Baltimore, I'm Megan Pratt, CNS-TV.